But you can see how uh, in this particular picture that there are uh, areas that uh, have uh, the carbon double bond, uh, the carbon-carbon with a double bond between them, and it is definitely not linen. That's the linen standard, and this is the crust standard, and they're just totally different. So this is not linen. So they went back to look and see, well, what the heck could give this kind of a spectrum? And the closest they could come to it was a terpene-based resin because of the hydroxyl groups. And there's only a limited number of hydroxyl groups in terpene, whereas with uh, the other things, there are many hydroxyl groups, especially in cellulose. And uh, so uh, we went ahead and uh, he made the statement, possibly a terpene-based resin was that crust. Uh, Just click next. Click, click on the next in the box. Oh, okay. And that'll take you to the next slide. There you go. There we go. Okay. The FTIR analysis, after we talked with Barry and uh, Sue, they said, this is all very interesting, but now we need to send you two other threads. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you got free, <laughs> free analysis, <laughs> uh, why not? And, and, and uh, they, they uh, send us uh, thread number seven and thread number 14. And some of you immediately know what that is, but I didn't I know at the time. We got it from John Brown. And, um, and uh, so we decided to analyze those threads, too. And as you can see, thread number seven uh, has the, uh, is the red. And, uh, and uh, the resin-like material from the first sample, uh, they're totally different. We just, uh, it, but it, thread seven also appears to be cotton. Many of the individual fibers in this sample appear to have a small residue from the resin-like material included in the first sample set. So it was contaminated with that uh, bit of residue that, that, that we saw. And um, now, this was thread number 14. Uh, this was the first sample, uh, which was cotton. This is a second sample, which was thread number 14, and they're very similar. So spectra from thread number 14 are a good match from the first sample set, and they're both cotton, was the conclusion. All right, comparison of thread 14 with reference standard. And this gives you an idea. This is the linen standard. And you can see the, uh, uh, the carbonyl uh, peak here very, uh, very strongly. But here we have uh, thread number 14. And uh, it appears to match cotton. It is definitely not linen. And, and, and that was the conclusion that we made from that. But one of the problems in doing work like this is that we don't have a standard that is age dated like the shroud is, the main shroud. So we had to say, what can we do to compare these things? So we went after, and there was an individual who says, I've got a thread. And he gave me a whole history of this thread and we called it the Tama 4 thread. And he said, this is probably one of the shroud, main shroud fibers. And uh, we looked at it, and uh, w uh, it, it turns out that we don't know if, uh, if, if oops. Previous. There we go. Uh, we don't know if, in fact, uh, what this TAMA-4 
purportedly shroud fiber is, uh, and uh, it, it is not a good match for either the cotton or the linen standard, this may be a result of the aging effects, or the material may be something entirely different. We just didn't know, so we didn't want to, we, we went ahead and analyzed this piece of thread uh, uh, quite extensively, but uh, we didn't, uh, then we, oops, I gotta go back one. Maybe even one more. Okay, that's a, a TAMA 4, so let's go to the next one. And this is the data focusing uh, on the one SP23, uh, the carbon hydrogen stretch uh, uh, region. And here again, this TAMA 4, it's somewhat is comparable with cotton, but it doesn't have the linen uh, uh, characteristic that, that we would have liked to have sent, see, seen. Okay, this is a sticky tape sample taken from the shroud area. Uh, that's, uh, and uh, Barry said, I've got a sticky tape sample and you can uh, look and see if there's any, uh, if that in fact contains a, a fiber from the shroud. Uh, and so we looked at it in many different ways. And, and that was an interesting little part there is that it almost looked like that uh, is comparable to that. But, uh, and one of the things that I can ask you to do is, is some of you can look at this and you say, I know what that is. Well, that's fine. You can tell us about it because uh, this is, here again, individual fibers from this sticky tape sample. And, uh, and can you tell from that whether this is, in fact, uh, one of the shroud fibers? And uh, because there were so many things. Uh, here is this flat, flattened, uh, what uh, has been uh, talked about as being cotton or being flax, but I don't know. Uh, that's a thousand X. And so we're looking at, at here, some of these little fibers, and we don't know. Uh, when we went to the car, fiber 14, uh, we saw this and we said, what the heck is that? And so we immediately showed that to Sue and Barry and they came up with uh, the different reasons that that could have